it's Nissa, the hypnobirthing midwife. Um, welcome. If you're on my page, then you are probably an expectant mum and you might be wondering what the heck is hypnobirthing? You know, what the devil is it? Um, because it, it's a little confusing. The name isn't really, you know, the best description of what it is. And often when people try and explain it, you know, it gets a bit jumbled because it's so, you know, so big. So I'm here today to explain a little bit more, you know, about what it is and how it works. So essentially, hypnobirthing is birth without fear. It's a profound shift in your mindset, which means that you really release all fear um, and you move towards, uh, you know, love, excitement, joy, um, wonder, magic, all of those great, great things surrounding the rest of your pregnancy and your birth as well. And, you know, why is it that mums that hypnobirth, they often become quite evangelical about it, actually. It's almost as if they've joined, you know, like a cult. They're raving about the hypnobirthing, recommending it to all of their friends. Um, and why is that? So there is a good reason for why mums love it so, so, so much. And I think one of the main reasons that mums love it is because when you do hypnobirthing, you do a course or you read a book, um, you, you realise how powerful you are and how powerful your mind is and actually that you get to make a choice. You get to choose how you feel about your birth. You will have to do, you know, some work, some practice. Um, you have to have a vision and, and you know, go for it. It just doesn't happen by magic, but it's still your choice. And I think that for many people, you go through life um, and you consciously aren't aware that you get to choose how you feel about pretty much everything, you know, in regular life. Um, things are happening in the world around you and the way that you react and the way that you feel about them to a, not for you know 100% of things but many many things it's up to you and hypnobirthing teaches that and then I think for many mums that's really a revelation and you can then apply that to life going forward for me that's definitely the case after I hypnobirthed my daughter nearly nine years ago, I went, wow, I have all this power. Um, I get to choose what I want to do, how I want to feel. And that was a really big shift for me. Massive, you know, seminal moment experience. And, and with hypnobirthing, um, it's a system that helps you transform, you know, and in my classes that consists of many, you know, different aspects. So I'm sure every hypnobirthing teacher teaches a little bit differently. There's a number of books out there. They're all a little bit different. They've all got their own um, angle, their own stamp. Because I'm a working midwife and I've been at stop counting a few hundred births my experience is really coming from that um you know very much being there during birth and that feeds into my classes so my in my classes hypnobirthing classes and i'm sure lots of teachers include a lot of this stuff as well we always start with the biology and most importantly i think is understanding the hormones of birth and understanding what a big impact fear has on your hormones, on your adrenaline. It, it absolutely um, 
you know, has a mega impact on your birthing hormones, which means that if you're in a state of fear, your birth may well be a lot longer. It, your surges or contractions might be a lot more spaced out, less powerful, less long, less strong. You might be actually in more discomfort because all to do with your mindset and your emotional feelings impacting on your body because the mind-body connection is, um, it's there. You know, we know it now from modern medicine, the way your mind is impacts on your health, your body systems, all of your his systems, your hormones, you know, the full um, sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, your blood pressure, your heart rate, they're all linked your mind so if you understand the biology then you can start to understand how you can work with your body which is key so I always start with that biology and some mechanics as well so you understand what's happening in your body how it opens um, particularly for a first mum that that takes a while often and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that um, and then from there once you get how your body works you understand that calm, feeling calm and relaxed is one of your, you know, best friends for birth. So I introduce the tools that I think work best and the ones that I've seen work best for birthing mums when I've been working as a midwife. Absolutely, that's the breath. The breath is key for staying calm in life. Generally, um, I'm you know, a big lover of yoga and I honestly think that hypnobirthing and yoga, there's so much crossover, um, different names, slightly different, you know, um, angle, but essentially there's so much that's the same and it's brilliant, you know, it's so great. Um, the breath, once you feel that you can control your breath and you can really go deep into your breath, that works with your systems, your body systems, your parasympathetic nervous system, which supports the birthing hormones, the oxytocin, the endorphins. So you're working with your body, making labor maybe a little shorter, maybe a little more comfortable, which, you know, it's not a bad thing, ladies, not a bad thing. Um, the other tools that I think work really well are some of the kind of hypnosis deepening visualization exercises and I teach a couple um, that you practice in pregnancy and I plant the seed that actually you can have a massive impact on the sensations you feel. So for some mums birth is very intense and for some mums birth is very manageable and I wouldn't say you can control that but I do think you can influence that to a certain extent. Um, and that's really powerful. It's very, very powerful. So I teach those as well. Um, so many things, guys, so many things I teach. In my group classes, it runs over eight hours and it is packed full of practical things. Being a midwife, being a very practical woman myself, I want my clients to walk away feeling like they have a huge kit of stuff that they can use in pregnancy and on the day that's going to help them you know it's really practically going to help them definitely we talk about um, environment the role of the birth partner you know that's key you know that's taught I'm sure in all hypnobirthing what a great impact your birth partner can have whoever that is it might be the dad it might be your wife your mum your sister they can play a great role in protecting that bubble of calm, keeping you feeling safe, cosy, loved, cared for. You know, they do all of that. They're the person that you trust most in the world. And so they have a great power. And that's amazing. You know, it's a brilliant thing. There is the hypnosis itself. So when I teach hypnobirthing, the hypnosis is done um, the majority is actually done by recordings that I give my clients. I mean, we do do one session together, but it's a half an hour, you know, but the key is the repetition. So it's going away, listening to your hypnosis recordings, 
Um, I've recorded four recordings. One's deep hypnosis to release fear, build confidence. There's breathing practice. There's a visualization and some affirmations. So there's it's a it's a quite a big bag of tools in those recordings that work you know really quite deeply on your mindset and then also it's about consciously engaging with your mindset as well so mums and dads you're not passive you are active in the process you are letting in the good stuff welcoming in the positivity and you're consciously saying no to fear and that's in small ways every day um, and in big ways as well through the pregnancy and it has a big impact um, we definitely do work on affirmations, so positive words. You know, I encourage mums to have a mantra that they say to themselves. Um, could be anything that's relevant to them and addressing their own individual fears um, or building on confidence, you know, and that's something they're given homework. Go away, figure that out, come back. Um, Visualisation is a massive tool that, um, is used in hypnobirthing and also many other arenas like sports. Um, Visualisation is daydreaming, imagining something. And there's such great research out there now that tells us that our minds are amazing, you know, malleable. You And you can change the synapses in your brain so that if you've imagined something not many times, you've visualised it, you're tricking your brain into thinking it's done it before. Wow, amazing. And so when you go to do it in real life, you're going to do it better. You know, we know that from things like job interviews, doing practice for job interviews. And um, we know that from sportsmen and women, they use visualisation so, you know, deeply. That's an essential part of their training as young athletes and sports people. Pilots use it, musicians use it, you know, it's it's accepted now. Many big businessmen they, and women, I should say, business people, entrepreneurs, they use um, visualisation as a tool. I use it on a daily basis. You know, it's it's a great, great, um, easy, free tool that you can use to increase the chance of you getting the birth that you want. Because that's what it's all about, really, isn't it? It's not about having this birth or that birth. It's about having the birth that's right for you, that feels right, that feels joyous, um, that fills you, your cup, that makes you feel full of love. You know, those. that's what we're doing. That's what where we're going to. Also in my course, I include um, some scenario work. As a working midwife, I know that you can't control everything. What happens if something comes up on a day that you hadn't... Um, wasn't in the birth plan, you know, baby does a great big poo whilst they're inside. How do you manage that so that you stay calm, so you don't lose your cool? And that's that's a practical thing and you can learn more skills to do that, definitely. And I also include for all my clients um, alignyourbaby.com, which is my online programme which teaches mums how to encourage their baby into a position which increases the chance of having a shorter, easier birth. So a, a back to bump position as opposed to a back to back position. And I think that's really important. So for me, there's a triangle. So hypnobirthing, the things that I think are most important in that triangle is definitely mindset, you know, birthing without fear, um, deep relaxation, breathing, that's the hypnosis, the tools, you know, that will help you to be really deeply relaxed on the day. And the other corner is getting your baby into a great position for birth. So you kind of need to cover all of those, um, all of those things. And hypnobirthing does that, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. Um, so it's pretty massive, guys, hypnobirthing. I still use my hypnobirthing breathing. Um, now, nearly nine years on, I... For me, hypnobirthing was definitely, personally, um, the start of a journey which has been massive for me. I have then trained to be a midwife, I set up my own business teaching hypnobirthing, um, I'm now an avid um, 
you know, goer of yoga. I love yoga. So much link crossover. I'm currently teaching to be a Kundalini yoga teacher. Um, so it's so much deeper than just being prepared for birth. Those tools will stand you in such great stead for parenthood and all the challenges and joys of parenthood um, and just for life as well. So sending lots of love, lots of hypnobirthing love to you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.